Hey friends, it is Tracy. It is Friday. It is savings challenge day. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. We are going to stuff. How much are we going to stuff? 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So we have $180. But in our budget, 80 of that is going towards these two save 2024 in 2024 challenges. So let's pull out the 80, 20, 40, 60, 80. That means we have $100 left for our regular savings challenges. And it feels a little tight this week. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it feels a little tighter. Um, let's just start with this. I think we're going to have to skip my niece and nephew binder today. I think we're going to have to skip my taco binder. I'm still going to do my taco Tuesday because I'm not getting behind on that. But I'm going to skip the birthday one. The reason is, is that I am getting close to Mother's Day and my husband's tabs being due for his car. So car registration, tabs, tabs, whatever you guys want to call them. And I need money. So I need to finish saving challenges because I use those saving challenges to funnel to my sinking funds. So I think we're going to go a little heavier on savings challenges today just to see what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's jump into 2024 first. So I am splitting up into two different 2024 challenges. I am doing this one from Madeline Budgets. I love it. It's just very simple. <laughs> you, you cross off a box per week. I did start this one a little bit later into the year. I didn't start it till April. So on the weeks that I can do two boxes, I am doing two boxes. This week I have the number 40, so I can only do one box. Uh, if it this number was less than 45, I could probably do two, but I only have $80. And if I did both of these, it would be 85. So we're going to do one box in that one today. So $40. That means I have $40 to put towards my Save 2024 Highland Cow book that I got from Carmen, the Humble Budgeter. So we're going to set this one aside so that we can do Madeline's first, and then we'll do the other $40 into that challenge. Okay, Madeline Budgets. Oh, I did her 2023 one, and I loved it. I already completed the 2024 saving one from Nita over at the Almost Organized Owl. That one was super fun. <laughs> and it had a twist where it had like some scratch offs on it. But we already finished that one. The reason I am doing so many of these 2024 challenges is I need $6,000 in order for us to go on a winter trip. That's what I have budgeted for that trip. And so I already finished one. We have about 4,000 more to go. Hence why we're doing two more of these. <laughs> I, yeah, it might be a little crazy. I get it. But this is what works for me. Every single paycheck, I budget $80. So I always have the same amount to go towards it. And we need to crush these by the end of the year. <laughs> so I'm going to color in this 40. Ta-da! <laughs> I decided we're going to do purple for this row just to make it fun. We have our $40 to put into our envelope here. And let's add this and see where we're at. So, so far in this challenge, we have saved 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, and five dollars. Yay! So we have about 1,700 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys need my Venmo, just let me know. Just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. You are not sending me money. Um, but yeah, we're just taking it one at a time. So looks like we're going to have a stretch here where it's only one per week. And then once we get to this one, I'll be able to do two boxes. So that'll help us catch up a little bit. Okay, the next one. So next is my one from Carmen over at the Humble Budgeter. I again have $40 to work with. And we've already finished one page, which is super cool. Super. I feel like Renee. <laughs> I'm reinventing Renee when I say it that way. Let me move this out of the way for now. All right. That way this can be center of the thing. We have $40 to work with. I'm just going to use a calculator to deduct as we go. 
since we have a little bit more, let's go to a higher page. These are all two through 12. I love it because like, oh, so cute. I should color in one of these big guys. <laughs> should we get one of these big guys out of the way? $15? Hmm, I think so. So let's do a cute little Highland cow here for 15. Oops, so 40 minus 15. That means we have $25 left. All right, so we colored that one in. I think it's kind of adorable. <laughs> I don't know why I just went with pastelis. <laughs> okay, so we have $25 left. Let's work on this one more because we started it and these are high numbers too. This page saves 80. So here I have $25 left. Ooh, see, 12. So we have $13 left. Ooh, another big one. <laughs> this is gonna go fast. <laughs> so now we have $3 left. And let's see, it works out perfectly for us to fill in this little puzzle piece here. So how about we go ahead and do that? That way we have one whole row done <laughs> and it was $3. So we are done. We filled up the whole 40. See how fast $40 goes. <laughs> All right. So we had our $40 to stuff. So and... All right. So in here we have 100, 200, 20, 45, 46, 47. So 247 dollars. <laughs> so again, about 1800 more to go. <laughs> but we will get there. And this book is just so cute. And there's just so many challenges. I just kind of pick a, a page depending on my mood that day. And eventually we will fill in all of these. So we're not worried about it. Ooh, a fun game. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's get to stuffing. So I do have a hundred dollars left. I know, that's it. <laughs> let's do our pig first. I know I wasn't gonna do too much extra binders today, but I do wanna at least get some done on here because home improvement is a huge goal of ours and that is what I'm using this for. I don't know why I feel like that's a big number. Ooh, eight. Okay. That was more than I wanted. <laughs> so let's do that. And then we'll do five, six, seven, eight. I don't want to do that much into there. So we're just going to do the two and we're going to call it $10 today. <laughs> I know. I know. We're being a little cheap. I understand. All right, so we did two and eight, so $10 is going into here today. This is just so cute, <laughs> so adorable. Oh, okay, eight, $10. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's add in this money. So in here we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 105 dollars. We are getting so close to finishing that page. I am doing one page per category. So this first page front and back we saved for a new car as just a bonus savings. This one is going towards home improvement. And then we are just going to keep working through. Am I using this within the time frame of each of the coordinated pages? Absolutely not. But I seriously can't wait to get to this taco one. <laughs> it's so adorable. Speaking of tacos, we have my Taco Tuesday binder. And this was a collab between Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets and Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. And essentially you save whatever the dollar amount is for every Tuesday uh, throughout the year. So Taco Tuesday, you're saving the calendar date of that Tuesday. So we've already done January, we've already done February, we've already done March, April, yay! <laughs> so here is why, here's the big kahuna, this is why I can't put money into my other taco binder today. <laughs> 20, 
five. Thirty dollars is going in. Oh, this is taking up so much money. <laughs> but thankfully, we are done with the month of April. And actually, let's grab a 20 out of our pile. 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll do a swap a -roo. So in here we have 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. Oh, I got to color that thing. Hmm. All right, colored in the 30. We have our 80 dollars. We will stuff our envelope here. And next time we get to move on to May. <laughs> And we'll start at the seven, which is a much more manageable number. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, four. We like these little two even better. Six. Yep. <laughs> we don't look at the end of the month. <laughs> All right. We officially have four months done. We are on to month five. This is going to be $838 when it's done. So cool. <laughs> And now to savings challenges. This one is where we left off. So after all that, how much do we have left? 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60 dollars. Whew. That's why I couldn't do my other binders. <laughs> I need to finish challenges and I need them to go to my sinking fund because I need to pay for Mother's Day. <laughs> okay, here is my cute little balloon animal. <laughs> that lets me know where I left off. So we are going to start with Ellie on Earth. And she has this adorable little puppy challenge. I think it's so cute. <laughs> We're going to finish it today. I know there's four left on here, but these are all low numbers. And I'm kind of really excited to be able to finish one. All right, so we got five plus six. Okay, these are not low numbers. <laughs> Eleven. These have been the highest ones we've had. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, 11 plus eight. We're at 19. Seriously, like, <laughs> oh, 24. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, that was way more than I expected. <laughs> We're going to pull out a one and put in a five. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Prior to that, we had saved this much. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so the total is 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $35 is what it saved. <sighs> but this was super cute, Ellie. I loved it. All right, anytime I finish a savings challenge, I put a paper clip on it and then I stick it into my sinking fun bag. So this is where all my completed savings challenges go. These are ready to be stuffed towards my sinking funds. So I for sure know I have a 35 plus that one. We have a few goodies in here. <laughs> but some of them are birthday money. So like this one doesn't get to go towards Mother's Day or tabs, etc. <laughs> but we're just going to keep going and see what we can do. I do have an empty slot and I want to put in my Maycation one from Liz because I honestly see this and I always think Maycation all I ever wanted Maycation gotta get away right <laughs> and it's 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 May so we need to start it okay you're in there Liz you are slotted you get to have some action here <laughs> okay next up is which budget envelope gets the money Okay, now this one could royally hurt me because it can be up to $25. <laughs> and I, 5, 10, 15, 20, I have enough money for it, but I honestly did not expect to put that much into Ellie's. So this is going to be a severe risk. So I have been dying to play this one forever. It's from Crafty Awareness. And essentially, the last one to be scratched off will be the envelope to get all the money. 
So all these have like my different sinking funds. I think she catered it to me. I've had this for the longest time and I've been wanting to do it. And now is the time, but now I'm super nervous. <laughs> I just don't want a 25. Honestly, if I could get a five or a 10, I would be super happy. I don't know. We're going to do this one. Oh, tabs. <laughs> 20. No. <laughs> okay. So what this means is that means that when this is all done, however much money I save, that money is not going towards my tabs category. But I still have to save the $20. Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Dang. I don't know. I know she catered these to my categories, which is why it says tabs. But I don't know what all these ones are. You know, if it landed on puppy as the last one, that'd be super cool. But it's it's so fun to kind of see what the money is going to go towards. And I have no control over it. <laughs> I just think it's such a cool challenge. <laughs> okay. Ray to gnome. Whew. Oh, that 20. Whew. <laughs> I'm still sweaty. Okay. So this one, we were rolling a dice and seeing what we get. And we only have ones left. We got a two. Okay. We like two. <laughs> um, which one do we think is two? I think we were like... We went through this last time and we went with Green Thumb Glenn and it was between him and Groovy Gary because to me, surfers do it for passion and they don't have a lot of money. I'm not going to go on my rant again about it, <laughs> but we're going to say Groovy Gary is $2. <laughs> All right. So we saved five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10 so far. I could keep going. Ah, oh, it just depends on like... What I think I can finish and not. <laughs> Should I? I mean, 6, 12. I mean, I won't. Oh, man. What do I do? What do I do, guys? Oh, I could do 5, 6. 6 times 6 is 18. That'd be worst case scenario. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Should we just try to finish it or not? <laughs> I'm literally not going to finish any challenges today. And this is sad. Maybe we do that and then we can just finish a challenge. Let's see. Two. Okay. We like this. <laughs> a giddy gill is going to be $2 because he's pretty happy that it was only $2. So one and two. Three. Okay, this is going a lot better. Um, grading Garrett. He's a teacher. He would definitely do $3. <laughs> One, two, three. Three. Okay. Um, coffees are usually expensive, but sports are more expensive. Gingerbread and ghoulie. Ooh. Let's do a gingerbread, and we're going to say that we bought it at the discount store. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. I feel like I lost my voice. Like I, oh my gosh. Oh, another three. Okay. Well, we're just going to, Ghoulie Gunther is going to get three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, anyone else have like shortness of breath, tightness going on, a little bit of anxiety? No. One. Oh, gosh. Football games are expensive. So we're going to say he got a discount coffee day. <laughs> I only have $2 left. How do I only have $2 left? Okay, this has to be a one or a two. Or should we just do two and call it a day? Okay, we got a one. <laughs> what you guys didn't see is that I rolled that 600 times. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to call that done. <laughs> All right. How much do we save? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. $23, really? Yeah, that adds up, $23. So we saved $23. Whew, that was a lot of work and a lot of anxiety for such a low amount. <laughs> This is super cute. It's from Erica Budgets. But we got that one done. Yay! And no cheating. Well, cheating was involved, yes. <laughs> oh, but we have another one to stuff on Monday now, which makes me super happy because I have two big goals that just, they needed money. They needed money. Uh, we have a new slot. So let's put in... All right, we're going to add in this cute little love bug one. <laughs> it says 50 plus on this side, and I was like, oh, that'll be a nice little one. And then I didn't realize that the back side was 100. So, oh, man, we might only do the 50 side. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, then we have birthday, but I don't have enough money for that one. So we're going to put our little paper clip here to let us know that we are starting there next time. And we are going to jump ahead to my honey money. This is from Reinventing Renee. <laughs> and it is perfect for today because it only it will cost me $1 per hive. And I have $1. All right, so we're going to add the $1 in there. Whew. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six hives done, and six are done. This is a progressive one, so you do the $1, then you do $3 per, and then you do $5 per, and then you do $7, and then $9. And I just think it's so cute. <laughs> so adorable. And it's just the amount that we needed for today of one dollar honey money is done and next time we will start with madeline budgets which is my birthday scratch off and yeah that's all i have for today i hope you guys have a wonderful day <laughs> sorry this one was a little bit different than normal but i had priorities and sometimes with budgeting you have to change things up because you have certain goals and even though it's painful to not be able to do some of your favorite binders, such as my taco binder and my niece and nephew one, sacrifices had to be made. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.